Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and on the summit today, we have some real star power. When I wrote that down, there was actually no pun intended, but we are going to go with that today. We have some quality and big name folks from the sport of NAI women's golf from Oklahoma City University with me today. Coach Marty McCauley and Rachel Eckert, one of the players on a Sooner Athletic Conference championship team already. Coach, I want to talk about that first. In your 12th season with the program, now your eighth conference championship in the Sooner Athletic Conference. You go, by the way, with three national titles as well in your tenure there. Tell us about this season. It's It's been a big year, but congratulations to you first. Thank you, Joey. I, I very much appreciate that. Um, th this year has been really special and it's been um, a year that uh, as a coach, you kind of don't want to happen where I ended up with three seniors and six freshmen um, <laughs> and nobody in the middle, but it has uh, worked out uh, seamlessly and the seniors have done a great job of accepting the freshmen and um, fostering them and, and trying to help them uh, through their freshman year. So it's actually been a, a blessing in disguise from something that as a coach, you look at, oh, I have to replace a big class twice. That's not fun because in the sport of golf, there aren't endless people out there to go recruit. Um, <laughs> but but the, the three seniors, Rachel, Natalie, and uh, Lauren have done They've been very gracious in helping the freshmen through all of their freshman issues uh, and couldn't have done it without them. So um, in particular this season, um, our scoring average is 13 shots better um, per round than it's ever been in program history. So certainly proud of that um, and proud of the resolve of all nine girls. Um, we don't just have one or two. We have nine. And. I think that our success this year is based upon the nine of them more than anything. Coach, that's phenomenal. And to, to hear numbers like that in a program that obviously is on the level that yours is on and to, to be doing that much better this year. I noticed that in the roster as well, too, with the seniors and the freshmen and the, and the gap there. Although it you know, kind of makes sense with, with a couple of COVID years thrown in there, not having the opportunity really to do what you may have done in the past. But, but then you look at that then and – I think that what you said bears out to what I want to talk about next. I mean, eight victories this season. And for folks who, who may not be as familiar with golf, that is a phenomenal number. And it's still one shy of the program record in nine in a season. So uh, a good year for you all overall and, and having the number one ranking in the country four times. Yeah, it, it absolutely has been. And, you know, I, I think that one of the things that I've kind of noticed with um, – our wins that has been really cool to me personally was that in every single one of those, all nine of our girls played in the event other than um, a, a couple where we had some injuries. Uh, but I think that has helped build the camaraderie with the group. I think that everybody feels very inclusive. And I think that's important in a sport like golf, which is an individual sport. Uh, but, you know, you're trying to make it into a team sport. And I can speak for Rachel uh, directly that she wasn't in the top five, but she kept getting those opportunities um, to earn her way in. And because of that, she's playing in the top five at national for sure. That's fantastic. And I, and I want to give you a chance to, to talk even a little bit more about her. Uh, one of three seniors on this team. And, and, I, and I know there, there's a lot to talk about the freshmen, but, but right now, you know, we're closing out the end of this year. It's time to talk about seniors anyway yeah. and, and, and give them their due. Talk about what she's meant to this program. Um, so a uh, quick story on Rachel that I have to uh -oh. tell. It'll probably embarrass her, but um, <laughs> that's, what, that's what this show is for. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> Perfect. So publicly, I apologize. Uh, it's okay. I've told a lot of people. It's the story I'm thinking of. I think I've told a decent amount of people. So okay. Yeah. So whenever I was recruiting Rachel, her teammate, uh, Natalie Goff, had already committed um, to come play here. And it was the beginning of the fall of Rachel's senior year and she had come on a visit to OCU and uh, she was going on a visit to another school and I remember I called her and I offered her a scholarship and asked her if she wanted to come play for me and um, her response was well coach I don't think I'm good enough 
And so my response back was, I wouldn't be calling you and offering yeah. you a scholarship if I didn't believe you were good enough. Um, so I don't know if it was within hours or a day that she called back and said, I'm coming. Um, but I believed in her from the start. I think that she just needed to believe in herself. Um, so that's a quick story on her. And then <laughs> with, with the other two seniors, uh, I probably watched Natalie play more rounds of golf, um, trying to get her to come here than any coach has ever watched one person play golf. And Natalie... <laughs> To this day, is the most indecisive human on the planet. Um, I can attest to that. <laughs> yeah, Rachel's uh, lived with her since she was six years old, uh, yeah. so she probably knows better than anybody. But um, so when she decided to come, that was a big deal. And then um, Lauren, uh, her path here, uh, she sent me an email like lots of kids do. Um, and usually I, I get a lot of them, so I don't always respond to them unless they're kind of personal. And if you knew Lauren, uh, if she were on the show, she might not say anything the entire time. Uh, mm -hmm. But her email to me was uh, beautifully written and personal. So I remember it being a Saturday afternoon. And I was watching a football game and I emailed her back and said, hey, come on a visit. And um, so she did like a week later. And then another week later, she send me, sends me a text and says, hey, can I come back again? And I was like, <laughs> I'm not sure why, but. Come on. And so she walks in with her parents and she sits down and goes, I want to come to school here. So uh, the cool thing with this class is um, all three of them are from Tulsa, from Tulsa County. Um, and we've all been through some hell together. And it's just really cool that we're here now and we're excited to kind of finish the last chapter of it. Fantastic. Rachel, I, I want to give you a chance to talk about Coach McCauley, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you build up to that just a little bit. Talk about this season. Obviously, it's it's been a, a good year all the way around, and, and tell us about this year from your perspective. Oh, my gosh. This year has been so different compared to others. Obviously, I mean, last year and the years previously, um, we've had a good run. We've won a couple tournaments, and even last year we had a pretty good chance at winning nationals. But this year I feel like it's so different. I feel like without a doubt we have – an amazing chance of winning nationals and winning almost every tournament this year has been something that's especially as a senior uh that's what you want in your final season obviously you would like to have that every season um but i can't think of a better way to go out than winning so many tournaments and having this great chance of winning nationals um i know i've kind of looked at some other schools uh, like kaiser i know i think they won last year i believe um but just kind of seeing how they've been doing this year and seeing scores and stuff like that and i know we played a tournament uh, with, I believe, is it Southeastern Florida? Yes. You know, um, yes. And we ended up beating them in one of the tournaments and just knowing that we're going to be playing up against them and they're also another highly ranked team, um, it's going with some confidence. And I'm super excited. And that's what I always wanted in high school. I wanted to win. Uh, I wanted to win state and get this big ring on my finger. And then that's part of my big reason for coming to OCU was just the um, win, winning mentality, uh, championship mindset kind of a thing. Uh, and seeing all the rings that Coach McCauley has. And I remember him showing me some on the visit uh, and showing me some of the other girls, just seeing pictures of them. That's something that I always wanted. Uh, in high school, I unfortunately didn't get that. And so coming here, that's what I, my big hope was. And this year we've got a really big chance of getting that big ring. Uh, and I'm super excited for that. And going along with Coach McCauley and kind of why I came here, um, this team is such a family. And I know he kind of uh, commented on that a little bit, but that's probably the biggest thing that I came here and is like, this team is such a family. Um, and I know it seems so cliche because I'm sure so many teams say that, but I feel like it's so different. I mean, we're living with each other um, and we're not really button heads necessarily. It's just someone that, you know, um, has always got your back and coach McCauley and Sarah, um, they're always going to have your back even after you graduate. And you see that with all of our alumni, um, they come back and watch tournaments all the time. They, um, come back to hang out with us. Um, and so that's something that I really want to be a part of. And that's the big reason that I ended up coming to the school. Um, and it's just a family that you have for the rest of your life. And I'm super thankful for it. Well, the opportunities find ways of, of presenting themselves when you go to Oklahoma City University because it is a program that, as a whole, the athletic department has 71 national championships. And so uh, this is this it may be that time then as we, we're starting to look ahead toward that. Before we preview the national championship, Rachel, I said I'd give you a chance to talk about Coach McCauley. He's already, uh, you know, 
maybe not really fired shots, but he's he's had an opportunity to talk about you just a little bit. So tell us about playing for oh a gosh. coach like him. <laughs> God, I should have thought of this sooner so that way I could have had some stories to get him back for. for. <laughs> Thankfully, that wasn't too embarrassing of a story. Um, I think most of that was just shock that he was calling me and offering me a scholarship. And I was like in, in my car riding back from Whitehawk, I think. And I think I was just shocked. I didn't know what to say. And that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. And I'm glad I changed uh, my opinion and kind of had more confidence in myself and obviously – Coach McCauley told me, he's like, well, I wouldn't be calling you if I didn't think you yeah. were good enough. Um, so I think kind of setting all that in, um, I'm glad I ended up committing and coming to the school. But uh, he's been a great asset for this team, um, just with all those um, donors that he gets and all the money that he raises for the program. Uh, and then just him being here for all of us. Um, he texts us all the time saying, like, hey, if you guys need anything, let me know. Um, he's just that support system. Him and Sarah are that way. Um and it's awesome to have a coach that is like that because um, it makes it not very fun when you don't have a coach that's supportive uh, and that's not there to have your back all the time. Um, those four years can kind of be hell. Um, and so it's great to have a coach that is actually there for you and um, wants to help you not only as a player, but just as a person uh, to grow you into going out in the world uh, on your own, and being an adult, as they say. Um, but he's just there to push us to be better. Like I said, not only on the golf course, but just later in life once we graduate. I like that adult was in quotation marks too. So <laughs> <laughs> I know I graduated, but I don't feel like I'm an adult. So I have to say adult. But. Well, and, and, you know, uh, most folks know four years of college and more sometimes can be challenging, but, uh, being uh, not only a student, but a student athlete, I, I know there are the challenges that go with that. So, uh, it's it's nice to get to hear that for you and for the the other players on the on the team, and that you have someone like like Coach McCulley to be there for you, Coach. I, I want to wrap up our time today because uh, I I know that you have a lot going on. You all still need to get some practice in before the national tournament, which is going to be right there in your own backyard. It's going to be at Lincoln Park in Oklahoma City, May twenty fourth through twenty seventh. That's a Tuesday through a Friday, and not long from right now so coach preview the national championship for us and, and tell us what that might look like yeah joey we're we're very excited to be hosting um nationals again this year it turns out the third year in a row that we're hosting because um covid in 2020 uh we were supposed to host then and it got canceled and then last year we ended up hosting last minute because um the host institution um, had really strict COVID limitations. Uh, so we're, we're very excited to host the nation's best teams here uh, in Oklahoma City out at Lincoln Park. Uh, one, one thing that's really cool to me about hosting at Lincoln this year is uh, it's the 100th anniversary of the opening of Lincoln Park. It opened nice. in 1922. So um, I think it's cool that we're hosting this year and then also susie maxwell burning was inducted into the world golf hall of fame this year and susie grew up playing at lincoln park so i think those two things coincide with our national championship i just think that's a really cool vibe and feeling going into it uh, and being an oklahoma person and my roots being here i'm very excited about that as a kid who grew up playing at lincoln park quite a bit uh, so that's a quick backstory on the championship. Uh, it, it's going to be a great event. Lincoln Park is in uh, terrific shape. Uh, we don't play there as much as we used to um, because it's busier and some other courses are shut down. So, uh, But I feel very confident that our girls have a good feel for the course. And uh, we've played countless tournaments out there. And yeah, I think for us, for our team, all we got to do is go relax and play golf and everything will work out fine. Um, the, the field is very good. I, I would say any of the top 10 to 12 teams um, have a chance at winning, uh, depending on how they play that given week. But I'm overly confident in our, our group because of their maturity and um, their love for one another and um, in preparations and watching them, I'm very confident. Well, Coach, I, I want to wish success to you and to the Stars this season as you go in for that uh, opportunity for a national championship. 
And it's been a privilege to get to visit with you both. And so, Rachel and Coach McCauley, thank you very much for taking time with us here on the Summit today. The OCU Stars, Sooner Athletic Conference champions again. Uh, the uh, all-conference honors are just littered with Stars names uh, on that roster. And, of course, the Coach of the Year, who you get to see right here in front of you right now, and, and Coach McCauley. Uh, it's, it's been a privilege to get to visit with you all. And success to you all as you head to the National Championship. And thank you very much for being with me on the Summit. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I am. Let me make sure I'm done recording. Coach Will.